Okay. Yeah. Oh, -ho. get your social and your fun on, girl. Jeffrey, no one cares about you. Butthole. Oh, good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day. It's not be outside, but instead to age up our children here on The Sims 400 baby challenge. Now, I guess I didn't realize that it would age them up automatically from toddler to child. I thought that I could get them all to level three on what they needed and then I could age them up myself. But apparently that is not a thing. And now we have three kids becoming, well, three toddlers becoming kids right now. And I don't even have room for them. <laughs> so we're going to have to do that. Um, the kids have been mostly taken care of. They have a severe lack of cleanliness, as happened in the last episode. But every, they're not hungry. They are smart, and they're funny, and they're adorable, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and start, um, you know, giving them some traits, I guess. Select an aspiration and trait to replace silly. Pick an aspiration. Okay. Creativity, mental, motor, social. How about Brittany will be creative that's always good right and then how about a trait active genius goofball creative hot-headed self-assured gloomy cheerful music lover geek perfectionist art lover bookworm neat dog lover lazy oh Brittany's gonna be neat because we need a neat child in this household although creative doesn't seem to be motor she seems to be better at motor it's fine she'll level up just fine Happy birthday, Brittany! All right, are we going to have Cameron and Dean's birthday at some point? She's like, uh, Mom, this house is a filthy mess. Oh, look, they're sending kit. They're sending gifts for the kids. It's amazing. That's so sweet. Um, can you give your brother a bath? All right, here we go. Here's Dean. Here is Dean aging up. Dean was independent. Let's pick an aspiration. How about mental? A whiz kid? And of course, I'm picking the ones that like they only got the lowest level in. Uh, but you know what? That's just because I want them to grow. Pick a trait. We will make Dean. We'll make Dean a geek because Dean's already a geek. <laughs> I'm kidding, but a little bit. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> Dean aged up. Nice. Look at that. Look how cute they are. Jason. Oh, Jason brought me a gift. Did who's? I don't even know who's Dean's dad. Whoa! What happened here? Oh, I put the wall up. I meant to do this. Okay, and then we're just waiting for Cameron to age up, yeah? Yeah, is that where we're at right now? Um, let's give him a bath, I guess, while he's here. She's apparently... Oh, oops. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now Cameron is aged up. All right, so we have social, motor, creative. All right, we will have him be social. He'll be our little social butterfly. And for a trait... We will make him do do do. How about outgoing? Cool. Good kiddos. Good, good kiddos. All right. Well, now I definitely need to expand my house and I definitely need to get on having another baby. Will we accomplish it all in this episode? I don't know, but we're going to give it the old college try. Okay, you guys. Oh man, so things are so smooth right now, knock on wood. We still have a couple toddlers. They still don't smell well. It looks like one of our teenagers doesn't smell well either. Which one is it? Dean, go upstairs and take a shower. Look at their upstairs, which I think is really, really nice. I think it's clean. I think it's crisp. It allows, we can put plenty more beds in here. I actually built a basement, which I really intend to put all their study stuff downstairs, like the desk, but because we only have, we will have five kids coming up right now. That's why I only put five beds, but I made a huge bathroom. I put like shower dorm, dorm style type showers. I made two toilets, which in theory, that that's a lot of room. Not in theory, which it, that is a lot of room for the toilets. I don't know. We'll probably adjust as we go. But that's just upstairs. It's pretty simple. But they got all that they need. 
And then um, Brittany, because she's a clean freak, is helping me around the house, which is amazing. And now I need to give Fallon a bath because she is gross. Um, looks like she's eating, though. Are you eating, little one? All right, we'll let her eat first. But it's been really nice that they can basically take care of themselves when there's food on the table. I also hired a maid because you can hire a maid. They just take, can't take care of the kids. I think, though... I think little Brittany has been clean. Look at her go. Look at her go, Brit. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. She's doing a lot of cleaning, bless her heart. Um, Genevieve, though, she is filthy and tired and just needing some fun, but she needs to take care of these kiddos. All right, let's give Fallon a bath real quick, and then, you know, we'll get to getting pregnant again. I just needed, like, a couple episodes to get my act together. You know what I mean? I really needed to just figure out... The situation and have some things taken care of. I mean, who's coming over? Why are we having teens come over? I don't think so. Stop picking up. Stop picking up Elliot. Pick up the one. So there's been like a. Uh, stop cooking, by the way. Stop doing everything you're doing and just give the child a bath. Give the damn child a bath. Wake her up. Give her a bath. You're all smelly. Really, it's Genevieve is the one who needs to, like, catch up on everything because the kids are mostly okay, like I was saying. Um, pick her up. Give her a bath. There we go. Go to the bath now. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, look how great our garden is. It's really, really coming along. Uh, we've been making good money. As you can see, I spent a lot of money uh, on the upgrade to the house, which is totally fine. We're going to make it back pretty quick. I'm not worried about it. Look, he's taking pictures of my garden. He's so proud of me. Oh, the scarecrow is my best friend. I'm so happy to have him in my life. What's he done? I don't know. He'll occasionally throw some trash out. So that's great. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about that. Yo, did you give... Why did you not give her her bath? Give her her bath. It's driving me crazy. Stop. I know I have autonomy on, but like when it says to do something and then they don't do it, it just like grinds my gears. Because now where the hell is she? What's she doing? Where are you, Genevieve? <sighs> It's fine. It'll figure itself out. So once I get Genevieve all up to snuff, um, we're going to go on the manhunt again. We're going to finally go back out there and start to feel like ourself and not a tired mom. You know what I mean? So I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. So sidebar, Dean is upset because it says his parent passed away, which is obviously his dad, but I don't remember who Dean's dad was. That's bad. That's so bad. Whoopsie daisy, but it looks like his brother is there to cheer him up. So it's fine. It's fine. They're okay. That's sad though I didn't I feel like I didn't even get a notice about that Interesting. Oh, we're gonna need a washer and dryer because we've got laundry Okay, anyway, I'm just back to getting Genevieve ready. She just showered and took a power nap. So we'll be back Okay, so it looks like it's Elliot and Fallon's time to age up and I wanted to throw a birthday party. I actually don't know how to throw a birthday party, but I'll figure it out because I want to have a birthday party because the last time I didn't, the other three were wicked sad. But our maid didn't come today, which is absolutely infuriating, and I don't know why. Um, so, oh, I, I don't want a rambunctious scamp. Well, whatever. That'll be fine. I think I'm supposed to randomize these. Am I not? Am I not supposed to randomize? Sure, that's good. And now it'll be Fallon here in a second. And we still haven't gone to meet a baby daddy, obviously. I've just been trying to get things organized. Genevieve still clearly hasn't caught up on anything. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, look at her. Look at her. She's so cute. And yes, there's piles of dirty laundry everywhere, and it's gross. Um, that's say la vie. That's that, that's that mommy life. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have a birthday party. Is it too late? I think it might be too late. So we'll just deal with a sad child. Now Fallon's aging up, yay! Which, what is that? Perfectionist, perfect. And then I get to pick the aspiration. We will have her also, well, no, we'll have her mental too if she's gonna be a perfectionist. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So, let me here move up here. Yes, we will let you claim this bed. 
and we will have you claim this bed. And then, sorry about the lack of birthday. I thought I was doing it right. Fallon, what are you doing, child? Stop it. Stop it. Discipline recent behavior. We have a firm hand and we express disappointment for making a mess. You know, I wouldn't eat. I don't. I'm not eat. I, all right, Brant, come say happy birthday to your girls. Whatever. Okay, so she's taken care of. All right, so once again, still trying to get Genevieve to a place where she'll be okay to go out. It's impossible to even get her to like sell her plants, which is her money making. You know, so I'll be I'll be there soon. Now that they're all kids, it should be okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Friday. The kids all went to school today. Genevieve had the whole day to herself to sleep, to shower. Now she needs some social and she needs some fun. So guess what we're doing? We're getting on our dancing shoes and we are going out. And I am so excited to get this woman out of the house. Can't even tell you how excited I am to get that baby daddy locked down and to make a baby. Ooh, ooh, what, what? Oh yeah. Unfortunately though, we've lost like all the relationships we've had. Like the Philip guy, um, we don't have a, you know, a little something something with him anymore because we just spent t too much time. Um, all the other baby daddies keep trying to knock down my door though. She has a real, you know, aura about her that just says, hello gentlemen, make a bit. Well, that's not true because really seems to, uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, here's Jeffrey. I forgot about him. Oh, we got to give him a love day gift. How about we give him a rose? A rose. You got to go have a good time, Genevieve. Stop being uncomfortable. Go be social and have a good time. There we go. All right, girl. Break it down. Dance. Let's do it to it. Throw love day confetti. Whoa, this girl, she came first. She's she's like, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Woo! All right, sure, let's dance. Let's break it. Yeah, throw that confetti and dance. I actually really dig this tune that's on right now. Okay. Oh, Brent. Here's Brent. You know, I'm pretty sure they're married, and we had a baby with a married man, but it's fine. We'll get him. We'll have him. We'll have a baby with the other married man. How about a flirty introduction? Look at well, look at Genevieve's dance move. What is she doing there? I love it. I love it. Okay, shoot. Jeffrey's here. Is he gonna get mad at me for flirting? Oh, oh, but do you see how? Do you see how much that heart already went up? Oh, baby, we're gonna hit a pickup line on this. We are going hard on this fella, Jeffrey. You can shove it, okay? That's how I feel. Okay, yeah. Oh, -ho. get your social and your fun on, girl. Jeffrey, no one cares about you. Butthole. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, shoot, I forgot Brant was here, too. We we're about to get into a lot of trouble. Are we fighting with Jeff? Wait, 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 no. No, no, no. Give him a rose. Go out the door. Genevieve, go get him. Okay, he liked that. He liked that lots and lots. Okay, so we're getting there. What are we smooth apologizing about? I don't know. Look at that stance he took. Like, yeah, you should apologize to me. I don't know what that's all about, but it's fine. Uh, how about we get to know him? Hmm, Brant, go away. I'm flirting with your husband. You're my baby dad. Stop. You're making this really awkward for everybody. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, okay, he's going back into dance. Sounds great. Uh, so how about can we get a little flirt on? I think today on Love Day is the perfect day to do this. All right. Let's hurry up and just flirt. Oh, he liked it. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. I don't know what that sound was that just came out of my mouth, and I am so terribly sorry. <laughs> Genevieve, you'll have fun if you flirt, girl. Okay, came on too strong. Ooh, 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 embarrassing moments. Oh, see, Brant's call. Brant is breaking it down over there and then calling me and asking me to go on a date. All right, here we're going to get in with a self-deprecating joke, because that always seems to really do the trick, you know? 
it's not easy. It's not easy to take down. Okay, so <laughs> my patrons are joking that I'm trying to seduce married men. But you know what? We can't be choosy when we're having 100 babies, okay? You really can't be like, oh, you're taken. I can't have a baby with you. No, we're going to have a baby with whomever we can. Is that a teenager in the club? These teens are really throwing me off. They got to get out of here. Okay. Um, let's just keep being friendly with him. Um, how about we... Is there a get to know again? Did I miss it already? Ask a ask about day. All right, sounds good. Don't worry, Jeffrey. Your day will come. Oh, is that Philip? Yeah, that's Philip. Oh, yeah, Philip. Oh, gosh, we got to be careful about flirting with everybody. Let's just be a friendly introduction. Friendly introduction. Oops, we had a flirty. Fl hearts with somebody. I don't know who the I don't know who the hearts are going to. All right, let's flirt with this guy. Oh man, we are. Oh yeah, it's going down. If you know what I'm saying. All right. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh yeah, you hear that? Okay. I don't know if I don't. Maybe you wouldn't like that. All right, let's brighten day. Maybe Philip will be easier because, I mean, I'm assuming she's single. I actually have no idea. All right, I'm going to get one of these guys. Don't you worry about it. It will either be Philip or it'll be Brent. So I'll be back. You best bet your butt. Ooh, so we've got Brent over and things seem to be heating up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we just, uh, did we make a move? I think we made a move and he about fell over. He was so flattered. So I'm doing a little friendly. I'm doing a little flirty just so we can keep it interesting and keep him on edge and then go in for the kill so we can make a baby. You know what I'm saying? Woof, it's been something else. Oh, is he also flirty? Oh, we're both just flirty right now. Oh, this is perfect. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Well, we're just really going for it right now. Oh, he liked it. Oh, he liked it. Oh, <laughs> This is the best part. Um, let's offer him a rose. I brought us into the bedroom and left the kids out there to, you know, make whatever messes they need to make. Because we need to make a mess in here, if you know what I'm saying. Come on. Oh, for me. That's what it sounds like. Oh, he is tickled pink. Oh, okay. It's prank day, so that was a good time. Oh, it's first kiss time. First kiss time. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? I don't know. I sure hope so. Or will he put our hand, his hand on our face? Ooh, Barracuda. It's a thing. Derfta. Oh, that was actually really cute. Where are you going? Where are you going, man? All right, let her have a nap, I guess. Real quick, get some snooze in. Uh, let's check on the kiddos, I suppose. They've all been just taking care of themselves pretty well. It's been really nice. Why are you sad, bud? The doll is sick. Oh, oh, what a sweetie pie. He's upset. Well, how about you take a shower? Uh, what are you upset? Oh, he is a clingy kid, so he's just going to be always stressed out. Girl, you need to wake up. Uh, use the bathroom and have a shower. What are you doing? Elliot? You are, yeah, have a bathroom and take a shower. I mean, you know what I, you know what I meant by that. And then how are you? You're good. You're having fun. All right. Wake up. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time to, hmm, blow a kiss to your fellow over here. The fellow with the hella good hair. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> he does know. <laughs> That's about right. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you see his eyes go cross? He's digging it. Dig in it. All right, romance. Embrace. Don't be too weird in front of the kids. That's like that's like my number one thing. Don't be weird in front of the kids. Oh, it's going to be traumatic enough. I mean, having like, you know, 96 different men come through. Um, no, 90, where are we? 94 after this? I'll get it right. I'll math one day. All right. Now we just need to get to that stage where we can woohoo and I can be like, later, later days, dude. Okay. Ask risk a question. I know there's a pile of dirty laundry in the, in the in bathroom. Just ignore it. Oops. Uh oh, that didn't go well. How about 
whisper seductively. No, we can't go down now. Ah. Okay, that went well. That went well. Um, uh, let's uh, just flirt. Just general flirting. We're going to have this baby today, even if she falls asleep. Can we woohoo yet? We can't woohoo yet. <sighs> He's leaving. <sighs> Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you worry about it. Oh, and it's summer, by the way. So there's that. Leave me alone, Santa! Oh, it happened. And just in time, because we need to have some fun in our lives. So Genevieve, let's go woohoo. All that happened prior to it was she flirted once with him. But now it's go time, baby. And our maid is here cleaning. So that's nice. Try not to interrupt the woohoo with the, uh, you know, dirty clothes on the floor. This maid has been so nice because the house... I mean, now that we have Brittany, who's like a bit of a neat freak, uh, it's been cleaner, but she's been a doll. A real doll, I tell ya. Although I'm pretty sure she hates coming here because look at all the clothes everywhere. Oh, look at the... Look at the... Look at Pumpkinhead coming in. Scarecrow, that's what he's called. I was like, what is that? You gonna help pick up the laundry man? Kids' rooms are a mess. But, you know, it is what it is. Genevieve has done so well for herself. Look at this house. It's beautiful. <sighs> I'm very proud of her. And I'll be extra more proud if we have another baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so happy to now have... Uh, man, I'm so... I am upset that the aging wasn't off and we had the babies for such a long time. But it was. it's been so fun now with the kids. And now the kids are going to be able to help with the babies. And, oh, it's just going to make everything so much better. You know what I'm saying? Hey, lady, I didn't, I'm not paying you to stand here because you take money per hour. I like that name though, Presley. That's cute. Super cute. Okay. All right. Time to pee on a stick. Let's do it. Take that pregnancy test. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. So excited. Now we can eat. Now we can eat for two, you know what I'm saying? Are you gonna go tell them how excited you are? Yay, now I've had a baby with you and your man. Now you guys have kids, I guess, although I don't let you see them because I hold them hostage because that's part of the rules, so I'm sorry about that. Or am I? Okay, all the kiddos are getting home from school just in time. Hey, Presley, you still got cleaning to do, you know. All right, what's everyone's toot? All right, do you have a project? All right, you have a project. Get started on your project, little lady. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I got, okay. The, we keep getting the same gosh darn prompt. Are you really gonna make the project in my room? Oh, you just, okay. Uh, start working carefully. Hey, yo, you, child. What is your deal? Uh, I'll sh share big news with her. She can let out some anger, I guess. It's fine. It, while she eats her pasta. Let her know. $160? She didn't even clean up all the laundry! That's the worst maid ever. That's the worst maid ever. But you know what? We never have to see what's-his-face again. And we'll just have a baby. And it'll be great. Tell her the news! Oh my gosh! She didn't seem to like that, I don't think. She didn't like that. Well, you know. All right, well. I th Ooh, she ain't happy. That is going to wrap it up for today's episode then, you guys. I'm so, so very happy this is where we are. I'm going to have all the kids do a project because they got it from school. They're not going to be happy with me at the end of that. But, you know, it's something that they need to do. Something that they need to do. Wait, where are you? Okay. Uh, start working carefully. I don't care that you're tired, children. You need to do you need to do your homework. Why are you so angry? Oh, you missed recess to retake a test. It happens to the best of us. You know, we've all been there. Put your project down and do it to it. I'm gonna have to get rid of the. Are you gonna do it outside? I mean, I guess it is a beautiful day to be outside. Oh, that rarely happens. Okay, start working carefully, boys. You have a project. He had a project that he didn't do before. Place and world, where are you? Where is Cameron? Right there, all right. Start working carefully, and then now you. Place and world. Dean, wake up, and do your project. Do your project. Are you gonna do it out here? That's fine. I don't care where you do it as long as it gets done. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. In the next episode, hopefully we'll get a baby and another man. So I think we're back on track 
for at least a few episodes. <laughs> so if you like the video, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out a new video and I will talk to you later.